She's 31. She can't talk, eat or drink. She can't even kiss those she loves. Until recently, she was a fit, healthy woman with a loving partner, two gorgeous children and a career that was going places. She had everything she could have dreamed of. One day, she felt a lump under her arm. She went to the doctor and the results of the test turned her world upside down. She had cancer and would require chemotherapy starting immediately. Several weeks into her treatment, the pain in her mouth was excruciating. She called her oncologist. They referred her to her dentist. She called her dentist to be told that she required specialty care. They couldn't help her. She should call the dental hospital. She called the dental hospital, left a message. Six days later, she got a call back and an appointment was made 10 days time. Welcome to the world of a person with a cancer diagnosis suffering with oral complications. This is a sad scenario and it's all too common. By 2010, I'd been a dentist for nearly 20 years and I'd like to think I was pretty good at it. But I was looking for more. A midlife crisis? Maybe. What could have me bouncing out of bed in the morning? So I did what most middle-aged guys do. I went out and bought a sports car. <laughs> and guess what? It didn't help. But I drove my sports car, searching all the while for inspiration. Slowly, a picture began to form. Could it be that people who embark on cancer treatment with good oral health fare better? We know that cancer treatment compromises our immunity. What starts as a pain-free minor infection, like a small cavity or a bleeding gum, can rapidly turn sinister under the influence of cancer treatment. That is what happened to Louise, and now I know this could have been prevented. I was angry and sad for her, but I was excited as a person and a practitioner. To be able to help her, I felt passion the dots were lining up. My calling was to help other cancer patients prevent such needless and dire consequences. One in two men and one in three women will develop some form of cancer by the age of 85. While cancer survivorship is increasing, it makes sense to me that supporting this population of people is vital. Louise's experience was, motivation, was the motivation I needed to develop a dental program designed for people with cancer. I'm proud to, proud to say now I work with committed and dedicated cancer care teams and I feel professionally fulfilled. Louise has been cancer free for five years now and whilst we are still dealing with some of the after effects, she can eat, drink, talk and once again kiss her kids goodnight. Oh, and by the way, I've sold my sports car and I now ride a push bike.